Are you experiencing issues with your computer that you simply can't fix? Well, I just might have a solution for you. What's up guys, my name is Cobalman and in this video I'm going to show you how to delete a local profile. The reason you would want to do this is because occasionally you would come across an issue with your computer that you simply cannot fix and believe it or not, sometimes just deleting a local profile or basically your login that you use for your computer can resolve these weird issues. Issues like your computer some, for some reason is running slow, uh, random programs are crashing, uh, random programs are not working like they're supposed to. Um, deleting all these um, local profiles that are corrupted can possibly resolve your issue. Now, just to point out, this video is a kind of follow-up to my previous video that I created on how to create a local profile, which I'll go ahead and post a link right up here. Um, also, just to kind of a note um, that this video is for intermediate to advanced users, okay? So this is not something I would recommend uh, for a beginner to do, okay? So just to kind of reiterate uh, my previous video, um, let's go ahead and uh, open up our control panel and go to user accounts. Uh, which is right here. So let's go ahead and open that up and let's go ahead and, and create a another account um, and we'll uh, make sure that it has administrator privileges so that way you can make all the adjustments that you have to, all the necessary adjustments that you need in order to complete the deletion of the local profile, of the corrupted local profile if you will. So uh, let's go ahead and create a uh, new account. Let's go ahead and create the click create new account Let's name it Koboman and make sure it's an administrator account, okay? Because the step I'm going to show you will not let you um, delete um, the local corrupted profile unless you have administrator uh, uh, profile login created for that. So the purpose of this is, is basically creating a new login profile for yourself. So after you delete your old one, in my case would be this one. So let's say this BUCO profile, which I'm logged in right now is corrupted and I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to need a secondary uh, login account for my computer uh, login profile, if you will, and which is called Kobuman and has administrator privileges. And of course, just like in my previous video, you can go back and create a password and um, you know I'll do that as well. So before we delete anything, make sure that you uh, do a full backup of your comp of your uh, local profile. And the reason for that is you're going to have uh, most likely stuff on your in your My Documents on your desktop, and you don't want to lose any of that, okay? Because once we delete this account, your login account for your computer, um, everything will be gone. So we just want to make sure we just want to make sure that you know we have a full backup of it, so that way we can recover it you know, and then rebuild our new profile, which is going to be this one, right? So how do we do that? Well, that's very simple. You know, just go to computer or your local, uh, your uh, root of C, C drive, and then go to users, find users, and here's your new account. So simply from here, you would just right click it, copy, and then paste it anywhere you like. So you can paste it in the root of C, for example, okay? So that way we can come back to it later on and then, um, basically, re you know, recover all the files that we had in my documents, desktop, or what have you, you know? So, once you're logged in under this new profile, okay, you have to be logged in under this profile so you can delete this one, okay? Um, well, before that, go ahead and restart and then log into this um, new account. The reason for that is you may want to make sure to restart because uh, if you just log off your computer, um, the data from this profile will still be in the background, okay? And then it won't let you fully delete it. Okay, so make sure you do a full restart, log into this one, and then come to the same place. So one way to delete it is to simply select this corrupted account, and then you can select delete account. And then from here, you can uh, select whether you want to delete some of, whether you want to keep some of these files or not. So you can select delete or keep files. Of course, you want to delete all the corrupted files, but in this case, it may not actually remove all the files. I still may leave traces of, of of this corrupted account. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, properly delete it. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this here, and let's go ahead and open up properties of our computer. So here are properties of our computer. From here, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. Okay. So go ahead and click Advanced System Settings, and then from here, you would go. 
Uh, you know, I've, you would have to be, you know, advanced. It's going to be uh, by default an advanced tab, so you don't have to worry about that. So it's going to be just in case it's not for some reason. Um, it's a third tab over or the middle tab, if you will. And then from here, you would look for user profiles, which is right here, okay? And then from here, you would just click settings. And then from here, you will see uh, different um, accounts for your computer, login uh, profiles, if you will, for your computer, okay? Now, since I haven't restarted or uh, logged in under my uh, under my created account, uh, this is going to be uh, grayed out for me, except for the guest one. And here, if you want, you can delete the guest one. But basically, what would happen is same thing. You would select the one that you want to delete here, and then you would just click delete. Okay. And and again, for me, it's grayed out right now because I, because I didn't actually restart or anything or log into the other one account. As you can see, you don't see it here because I haven't. Uh, logged in otherwise you'll be here you would see Kobo man as a profile right so it'd be just like here for the guest one you'll be able to delete it you know and just a quick tip make sure your guest account is turned off as a, as of a safety feature so the point of this is basically to you know delete your corrupted profile which could be causing random issues whether your whether it's your computer at home or a you know work computer you know so you know let's say you do a desktop support for example and you're trying to fix this person's computer, right? And nothing works. Well, well, sometimes just deleting the local profile and rebuilding it back up can resolve this issue. So, you know, I uh, highly recommend that you give this a shot as a last resort, okay, guys? And the reason I say that is because um, you don't want to make a mistake and delete uh, all the all the files that you want to keep on your uh, for that local profile, which in this case is BUCO for me, right? So. Once you've deleted it, you log back into your new account and you made a backup. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little bit stuffed. You made a backup of it and then now you can recover your files. So things like my documents, uh, you know, favorites or in anything that's on your desktop. So let me just show you this real quick. I'm just going to close it, go ahead and close this back up. Let me go back to root or C and let's just go ahead and pretend that I made a backup of my uh, file let's say it's, it's on a root of C so but let me just show you how it looks it's gonna look just like this right so you go back here and then this is your copy of your profile right and then you just hold control for example and highlight everything that you want to copy over where's our favorites okay favorites and then just right click copy go back to the new one and let's say uh, let's say this is our new one back and then just paste it in it's going to ask you whether you want to combine the folders merge folders and you click yes and then it's going to you know you know restore your files you know that, that you made a copy of you know and the reason and just to kind of uh, give you a reason why things break with old profiles because of most a lot of times it's because of app data folder here this app data folder within uh, any of the profile can have corrupted files so if you go back here you'll see different levels of app data a lot of it um, is located under local. You see all these different folders, different companies, the different program uh, developers that you know have their own uh, app data. Basically, this you know holds most of the time just the settings for that pro for that software, which could be causing random issues. Also, there are some in local low, but not as much. But there are usually a lot in a roaming part of it as well. So this can be causing issues. Another reason, for example, if you're in a business environment. Um, a user may have you moved to a different group for example um, you know they stopped working in accounting and then some and then they went to for example um, I don't know collections department right so now that they moved from a different department their profile on the network has changed so they now belong to a different group policy but then suddenly uh, they don't they have they're having these issues you know running they're, they're running into these issues where things are not functioning properly well the reason for that is because sometimes the local profile that's created for that uh, user's local domain login, which creates a local profile on your computer, um, is still holding on to the group policies and permissions for the accounting department. So this person is no longer in accounting, they're in collections, and the um, group policy for collections department is not applying these settings to it. That's another reason you might want to delete the local profile, okay? And if you want more information, on, you know, if you want to know what group policies are or what I'm talking about at this point, I'll go ahead and uh, link a video that I've made in the past. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and place a link right here. Well, guys, I hope you liked this video. I really hope I really hope it actually helped you resolve some, you know, you know, issues that you may have with with your local profile. 
And like again, you know, just to kind of reiterate, make sure you know that you do a full backup because I don't want you guys to lose any files, um, any data, you know, because of this. Okay. If you like this video, go ahead and share it with your friends and family. I look forward to more videos every week. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.